Good morning. Today I have come to the village of Shardlow, which is in South Derbyshire, um, as it's considered the oldest surviving and best surviving example of a canal village here in England. So I thought it might be interesting just to have a little wander around. They've got over 50 grade two listed properties still surviving, which many have been converted into homes. Um, and there's a lovely canal path that you can wander. So I'm just going to take you for a little walk around the village. So the village of Shardlow was at its heyday between 1770 up to about 1840. And um, there's a lot of surviving public houses from that time, or pubs as they're now known. Um, one of my favourites is the Clockwork House. It's really nice to come and sit in the summer months. just so peaceful and calm along here. It's a lovely spot just for a walk. I love how so many of the houses here that, um, that line the river, they actually have their own little dock so they can moor their, their own boat up at the back of their house. Here's another older grade two listed building that's been converted into a house. Actually, nearly all of these buildings have now been converted into homes, which I think is really nice, including the uh, history of this location and repurposing the buildings that otherwise wouldn't have had any use anymore. So that is the new inn. That is considered the oldest pub here in Shardlow. And right across from it on the other side, you have the malt shovel, which dates to 1799. That's quite nice. I like the interiors in there. I'll have to take you in another day and go have a drink. Well, we haven't had any snow settle here in this little corner of Derbyshire. But you can see that the, uh, the path is still frozen and icy. It's still bitterly cold. If you're a narrowboat enthusiast, this would be a great place to own a home. So you could just moor up your boat outside. Take it off down the River Trent whenever you fancied. It's a lovely little area. It's so peaceful along here. You can see quite a lot of the canal boats have all got their, uh, their chimneys going. What a beautiful place to wake up in the morning. Oh, Shardlow is such an ancient place. It's mentioned in the Doomsday Book as Surdalau, but actually it dates back way further than that, thousands of years before that, when there was a Bronze Age settlement here. Um, as it's a natural uh, passing point, uh, crossing point uh, for the River Trent. Um, and I think it was the 90s, then they discovered a Bronze Age log boat, a four metre long Bronze Age log boat, um, completely intact, which now is in Derby Museum. And I think not too long after that, they found um, a Bronze Age sword as well. So there's so much history to this, to this area. Um, in fact, nearby Repton, the village of Repton, was um, where the kings and queens of Mercia um, 
had their court. They is a very old Sac Saxon, Anglo-Saxon um, crypt in the church there, where loads of old kings and queens of Mercia are buried. I'll have to see if I can take you there another day because that would be really interesting and I've always wanted to see that and still never gotten around to it despite living here. Well, I thought I would walk up to the to the log so I could see if there was anyone passing through and I could show you how the canal boats get through. But there is nobody. It's all very, very quiet at the moment. Which is nice, I'm enjoying a really lovely walk. Um, but yeah, I can't show you how it works. In a nutshell, you bring your boat up here, you get out and open up these gates. Now in doing so, that lowers the level of water in this passage here, allowing you to move your boat forward through the gates and then you close those gates behind you. Having moved your boat into this inner passage and closed the gates behind you, the water level will continue to fill up. Now, once it has done, your boat will be raised and level with the next gate. So you open that up and you drive on through. If drive is the correct word for <laughs> moving a boat, I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, you exit out of this one and you are onto your next stretch of river and you can do that all up and down the country. I'd love to hire a canal boat one day. We've got a really fabulous network of canals up and down the country. Um, and I think it'd be such a lovely way to travel slowly and you get to see such a different perspective of things. Um, yeah, I'd love to do that, maybe next year, year after, hopefully. One day, definitely. I've been on about it for years and there's just always things that happen in life um, that tend to come first and um, yeah, I haven't gotten around to doing a canal trip yet, but I would absolutely love to do it. I think it's just such a great form of transport. You see things from a different perspective and, um, and there's something so calming about being next to water, whether it's a river or a sea or a lake or a canal. I think it's just so calming being next to water. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I think I'm always happiest when I'm next to water of some description. <laughs> so I think that'll be on the agenda for next year. There's loads of rose hips everywhere too. This bush is covered in them. Might harvest a couple of them, forage them, make some rose hip tea. Anyway, I'm going to come back and do some foraging later. I think Heidi would really enjoy it. Um, so I'm going to find my car and head home. I hope you've enjoyed this little mini flying visit to Charlotte and I'll see you tomorrow. Lots of love. <laughs>